perfect. Happy Easter, everyone. Welcome. Happy Welcome, Easter. everybody. I'm sure we're not going to have a big crowd. I mean, everybody should be with their families. <laughs> oh, well, you never can tell anymore. My family's bugging me. Uh, actually, part of mine's out there bugging me right now out in chat. So. That's right. That's right. They're here to watch you. Yeah, my daughter was just in here bugging me, too, you know, and <clears throat> they'll be watching. So, I mean, at least we know where our family's at. <laughs> yeah, for now, anyway. <laughs> 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 they're done with all the togetherness from today they're just done <laughs> they're ready for some peace and quiet <laughs> uh, yeah i know i am <laughs> <laughs> anyway um, so how was anyway. your so far um well you know i have been just a uh, busy i've got one day off that this week and it was today so I didn't get a lot of rest and relaxation. It's, you know, got to do the stuff you got to get done for the following week. Um, as you know, that I live in the area where we're going to have the greatest um, view of the solar eclipse. So oh, I'm right in that right area. In that right. And yeah. Uh, yeah, so we're we're gearing up for that here in town and every, you know, it. they're, they're talking about an influx of 40,000 plus people. But according to what's going on in the weather right now, it might be more than that. Well, yeah. Because it's they're talking about here. they're talking about rain and clouds. Right now we are in our area, we're forecasted for um partly cloudy, rain in the morning, but partly cloudy. So yeah, everybody else is saying cloudy. So we'll see yeah. what happens. We still got a week to go. Um, but I'm excited about it. So well, yeah, I, we are too. I mean, and of course, uh, everybody knows Aggie out there is my daughter. She's over in England. She's studying cosmology, you know, but doing her uh, master's right now. But uh, there is, uh, there are three or four counties now here in North Texas that have already gone out and declared states of, or disaster states of emergency for that time frame because of the influx of people that are going to be there. They don't wow. have enough porta potties. They literally have, don't have enough porta potties in this area for the influx of people that they're going to have. Well, uh, let me tell you how bad this is in my area. The Chamber of Commerce and our um, city officials have put out a word that if you have a room or land where people can camp, let them know. Yeah, definitely. Yeah, because they're 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 talking about that all the hotels are completely book solid. Um, you know, all the um Airbnbs, which they're you know, in our small town, I'm sure there's only a few, you know, yeah. but they're opening up people are opening up their homes, they're they're opening up their yards, their land, everything for this. Yeah. So it it you know, it should be exciting, you know, because but like I was talking about with the weather. Yeah, if we exactly. have the best weather for viewing, guess what? You it's know. going to be a lot more than what you think. Yeah, it's going to be worse. Absolutely. Yeah. So anyway, so now we're kind of prepped for our next week or so, aren't we? <laughs> yeah, yeah, absolutely. I will, I will absolutely. Let you, I will let you go through the, uh, uh, the, the, the list of shows for this week because uh, I did it a couple of weeks ago, and I think I just blew through it really, really fast. You blew through it really fast. Did you remember it all or did you write it down? I actually remembered it. I don't know if I remembered all the times properly, but I remembered it all. I, yeah, I because, you know, if anyone should know when everything comes on, it should be you, you know, because, I mean, you are the tech guy for Texas Front Porch. So you have to go and pull all these things, you know, when everybody comes on. So you should be pretty good at it. Well, I, do the, <laughs> I, I should be known as the 52 minute man, the way people talk now. <laughs> Cut it off. Wait, wait, wait. That might 
Never mind. I'm not gonna say any more now. <laughs> <laughs> I was gonna say let just let it let it just let, let that let, one let, go. Let, let it lie. Let, let it, it lie. go. <laughs> no, I don't want to now. <laughs> but <laughs> right, yeah, you uh, know. Like but, but just real quick though, I want to get back to this eclipse yeah. thing for just a moment before yeah, I go into the channel lineup. Um, have you heard stuff about them calling in like um, the National Guard and stuff to some yeah, of these they've areas? Already, they've got some of them activated over in the, uh, the east, the Dallas counties, uh, the and the counties that are in the dead center path of totality. I mean, That's where us. we're at, we're we're thirty or forty miles west of that, probably closer to sixty miles west of it, really. But it's going to be as close to total as you can get around here without being right underneath it. You know what I mean? So we're right underneath it. And there's a couple of them. And uh, my illustrious governor, I don't know if he's been involved in it or the, the the guys in the the counties have been the ones because with them declaring the disaster areas, that's opening up extra funds to them. It's opening up extra support from the state. So, okay, well that's I mean, well that's good. I mean, like 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 I said, my town, um, it's not big by any means. And no. they're they're talking about an influx of forty thousand people. We don't, I don't know how we're even going to accommodate these people unless you know they start opening up the, uh, you know, we do have parks and things like that. If they're going to open them up for camping or what they're going to do, I'm not sure. Yeah, yeah, definitely. I mean, because they, they don't know how they're going to actually handle it if the infrastructure isn't there. Right, right. Yeah. They so they've got to have some place for these people to go, or they're going to be everywhere. You know, well, it's just going to be chaos. Are you the Lake of the Ozarks, though? I'm on the other side. So, but is it part of the, the area of totality, the path of totality? It is in the complete totality zone. Okay, so guess what? Everybody get together, head out to Party Cove, boom, you got everybody covered right there. <laughs> you know, because uh, my family, uh, they, they live in different areas, and they're talking about, because I live in the farm zone, and yeah. they're like, Hey, uh, um, um, can we come to your house? I'm like, wow. Well, yeah, come on, because you know I I live in the farm area, so I have very little trees out here. You know, nothing to to create a barrier where you can't see the sky. You know, unfortunately, I love trees and I love the shade and stuff like that. But I'm telling you what, there's nothing like looking out my big bay window across one of them fields when a storm's rolling in. I'm yeah, just saying. Definitely. It's 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 beautiful all in, all in itself. But no, I live in in flat farmland, and you'll be able to see it beautifully from here. And that's so. gonna be that's gonna be great. I mean, honestly, I, I uh, I'm going to be working, obviously. And if y'all think I'm walking outside just looking at the sun eclipse, I, I there was a partial eclipse about four years ago. I guess it came through the same area. Yeah. And yeah. I worked at a bowling alley at that point. I worked in the in the back and on the uh, on the actual machines and such. And I grabbed a wel welder's helmet and I right. took it outside. And all the little kids that were there, it was in late summer, really. I think is what it was. But I took that he welder's helmet out there, and all them kids that came out and they were like, "Oh, let's look at put this welder's helmet on. I'll show you what you need to look at." Right. And they were able to look right. at it full force, just like like they had bought the uh, the glasses or whatever. They were passing around the little eclipse glasses and stuff too. I said, "Here, y'all put mm -hmm. these on. Look for a few minutes. Give it to the next guy. Let's let's have some fun with it." Right. I don't know if I'll be. I don't want to have kids around me on this one because unless I get a whole bunch of oil filled people in there, mm, I don't think. Right. So <laughs> well, right. Well, Brian Brian Fox says, "Well, Glenn, how would they know even how many people would be coming in?" Well, yep. they're just basing that on all the 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 camping areas, all of the hotels. Um, yep. You know, just all the reservations being made, um, yet they're all being reported actually to the Chamber of Commerce here in town so we can yeah. keep track so we can accommodate. And uh, because it's going to be a good thing for our small little town. You know what I mean? Oh, yeah. It's, it's, it's going to be, an it's gonna be a great thing. Time. Yeah. I, it's going to kill me, but it's going to be great for the town. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just I saying. I can understand. I right. can understand. Um, yeah. So. Anyway, I'll probably have to work too, so don't feel bad. But I'm going to go outside. They're actually going to shut our place of business down so we can go out and look oh. at it. So uh, no, my, I'll get a whole my, 10 minutes off of work. Wow. Hey, break time. Break time. <laughs> it's break time. <laughs> Yay. If I spoke anyway, to it, I'd be like, all right, let's do it. <laughs> that, that's right. That's right. Um, 
So, because I, I don't think anybody's going to be coming to our place of business during that thing anyway. I, I hell, no, you don't even want to be on the road. I'm just saying, you're gonna you don't even want to be on the road. After effects is what you're going to prep for. Yeah, no, no. Hopefully, I'll be going home from work and, with no hiccups, and I'm yeah, just going to leave, know. take all the back roads home, and be done. That's it. <clears throat> All right. All right. So anyway, on Monday nights at 7 p.m., it is Daniel Diva in the Diva Dimension. At 8 p.m., it is Texas Front Porch with myself and Tex. On Tuesday at 8 p.m. Central, it is Course Brunch with uh, now Bigfoot Michigan Rob. I'm getting these confused. Bigfoot Michigan Rob with Beyond BMR. On Wednesdays at 7 p.m., it is Donnie Cho Says Stuff. At 8 p.m., it's in Humanoids with Barton Nunley and his wife, Letitia. On Thursdays, Thursdays is where we're getting in something new. Monica Rollins just had her first episode last week of Our yep. Paranormal World. Don't forget to tune into that at 7 p.m. Central. And right after that, Blondes and Booze comes on at 8 p.m. Central. Uh, on Fridays at 7 p.m. Central, Blondes and Booze comes on again if you just can't get enough or just want to have a laugh because we're always doing that anyway. On Saturday, we don't have anything as Texas Front Porch planned uh, as of yet. Who knows? Given a month, we might have something. <laughs> on, Saturdays, of course, too. <laughs> <laughs> on Saturdays, of course, right here on Truth or Tinfoil, it is Randy and myself. Right That's after funny. this, Tex will be invading Texas Front Porch with his newest episode of Infamous Minds, which I don't know what it's about today, but it's always really good. So make sure you tune into yeah. that. So, now that that's done. Yeah, we're done. Let's see. Now, um, I, 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 I'm, I'm going to do one thing real quick. Please indulge me on this. Okay. Uh, no. I want you, <laughs> please, because this one, this one right here. For those that don't know, we did a, a, a Texas Front Porch crew. We did a little bit of a, uh, a documentary with Tippa TV a couple of years ago now. And they, they made the mistake of bringing their dog Scout. You can't bring a dog around me, okay? Excuse me. <laughs> what? A big wind just came through the window in there, and I had a fan sitting up in it. <laughs> oh. Blew it right out. <laughs> oh, Excuse looks me. like there's no infamous minds today, too. So. Oh, Are okay, you? well. Well, we got free leave. What are we going to do today now? Okay, we're going to have some fun then. All right, yeah. so anyway. That scared me. Bit, Sorry, everyone. Didn't mean to give everybody a jolt, but that was loud if you didn't hear it. You <laughs> yeah, it scared me too the way you jumped too. But, well, I uh, thought something was going to break the way that hit. Anyway. <laughs> you got your stuff up so we could watch the meters? <laughs> <laughs> I think my daughter ran in here and picked it up. <laughs> oh, okay. <laughs> Anyway, so we're doing this this uh, this uh, documentary. We're doing filming and stuff like that. And the guys at Tippa TV, Josh and uh, Marianne, are there, and they bring their dog Scout. Never, ne never bring a dog around me if you don't want me to feed it. Okay, especially if it's a dog that just loves being with people. To start with, mm -hmm. Scout did. Mm -hmm. I have been the Cheeto man ever since because every time they turned around, I was giving that poor dog Cheetos. I gave that dog Cheetos to the point that you're not helping us. You're not helping us train him. He don't need to be trained. He's all right. Don't worry about him. And to this day, every time I talk to him, I ask him, are you treating Scout right? And have you given him his Cheetos for the day? <laughs> and Gary, Gary Spike Sr. Pops can vouch for it. He was there. He knows. <laughs> well, that's what I'm saying. I mean, if you figure it out, Cheetos is the trigger. Train him with Cheetos. Yep. Well. They kind of yelled at me about it. They were kidding about it. Don't get me wrong. They were really mad, but they they were mad. They were really mad, but they were mad. Uh oh. <laughs> Cheetos. They had fun with it. Right? Okay. So now, first rattle out of the box, I want to do the one that, that, that we were talking about originally. The, what, the, the first one. The yeah, Jap we, one we talked about this. Yeah, the Japanese wolf. Okay. Japanese wolf has been supposedly extinct since 1905. A gentleman in 1996 captured photos of what he believes to be. And what looks to me uh, on a couple of the taxidermy ones that we saw 
looks to me like it was actually the same thing we were talking about. The uh, it could it would easily match up. Now I'm gonna start off with the actual drawing that was looks to us to be somewhat of a part of a textbook, if you want to call it that. Right. Okay. So, but, re but remember what I said about this. We don't know yeah. when this was drawn. Yeah. Um. So we don't have a timeline on this photo. We don't know if it's accurate. Yeah. Yeah, and, and that's the thing. <laughs> All those from that time frame, it had to have been done in the eighteen hundreds. You would have thought. You'd have thought it had been done in the eighteen hundreds because, to me, it, well, I mean, you can see. I'm gonna try and zoom in here. You can see the page crease right here it's kind of like um birds of Amer north america that that coffee cable book yeah. or whatever, but it was done in the <laughs> 1800s so the gentleman that yeah. did it did all the drawings himself so yeah but like i said we we don't know we don't know no, um, we don't know but it's kind of vague but, so yeah very very vague <laughs> so this i'm gonna show the first i'm gonna show you the the one, the actual uh, taxidermy. This is an actual Japanese wolf. I can only guesstimate somewhere about late eighteen hundreds, early nineteen hundreds that it was uh, that it was stuffed. And as you can see, I mean, it just looks like a dog, uh, some sort of a canine dog or weird dog, wolf. but yeah, yeah. <clears throat> but once again, taxidermy from that that long ago. Who knows? You know. Yeah. So as we and see it looks this, it looks along the line of the coyote family. If if you want to get, yeah, that's kind of what I was thinking too. More along yeah. the lines of the coyote. Now mm -hmm. there is there is another one that was the same. It was another taxidermy. This looks even rougher though. Now you can still see a little bit of the of the striping, but <clears throat> I don't know when this happened. And the the face here at the face. Obviously, we're going to have an issue with how they did the taxes. Well, you know, you know it all depends. It all depends on how if they found it or if it was killed or something, you know, because yeah. if they found it dead, it depends on what state of decomp it was in. Exactly. So, so uh, yeah, it's tough to say. It's got a weird looking this, tail, too. Yeah, this one's doc, got a doc tail almost, whereas the other one did not. Right. Or we couldn't we couldn't see the, the, the tail very well. Let's put it that way. Right. Right. Okay. So I'm gonna pull that down because I don't want to jump on any others by accident. So gentleman in nineteen ninety five set up had trail cam set up in Japan. Mm -hmm. And this is one of the he caught about sixteen images. This is one of the first ones. Uh, now there are wild dogs in Japan. I don't know of any wolves at all in Japan right now. In fact, there was a BBC special at one point where they went looking, quote unquote, it was a documentary looking for the ghost wolves of Japan. Right. Now, obviously, as you see that one, I mean, you could see the similarities in the first between that and the first one. Yeah. So. Did he? I wish we could have saw the tail on this one. Well, I think we've got one right here. Now that's a short tail again. Yeah, that one's a short tail again. So I couldn't tell on the first one whether or not the first taxidermy one we couldn't tell off the off because it was facing toward us, so we didn't see the hindquarters at all. We just saw the sides. Yeah, because that's a short tail again. That's not a long tail, not for a dog. No, no. And it's definitely not a dog, a regular wild dog. It looks, I mean, this looks like a wolf's head, a wolf's snout and head and ears to me. So, yeah, I mean, it, it it does to me. Like I said, it, it, it but it's reminiscent to me more of a coyote looking thing. Um, God, that one's tough. And it's wet. You can tell yeah. that the ground's wet. and. Exactly, it's, it's been in the rain, and you see, as Poncho asked, "Where's the game cab data?" Here it is at the bottom. Ninety-six, October fourteenth of nineteen ninety-six was when it was taken. Uh, so you're talking about ninety, 
minimum 91 years after it was supposedly extinct. So, and then I think there's one more there. And you can see this one, he's had a little bit of a trot on, in this one. Yeah. Okay. Do me a favor and bring huh? bring up that first one of the taxidermy, the first one. Okay. Okay. Let me go back and get to it. Boom, 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 boom. Coming up right now. And let me zoom in for you. Yeah, see, we can't see the tail, but you can see there is a little bit of a tail back there. Yeah, but it's not long. You'd, you'd see it. No, it's definitely not long. No, it, I'm with you on that. It's definitely not long. So it is a short tail wolf, one way or the other. Okay, this one right here, Freaky, is done by the taxidermist. The one where we were looking at it that it looks wet, that is supposedly real. Mm -hmm. Supposedly caught in 1996 on cameras. Now, and <laughs> once again, they haven't been caught again since that I know of. So... Okay, Poncho said. If you honestly really want to know, here. neither one of these are great. Uh, no. For being stuffed. They're not great at all. No. Maybe it's because of the age that they are. The time frame it was done. <laughs> but yeah, the time frame was done because they don't have all the cool stuff they have now. Exactly. And I'm going to go back to uh, what Poncho said. Look at the snout, the pick of the game cam. Was it wet? Okay, we'll go back to this one first, and then I come back to the others. Is this the one you're talking about, Poncho, right here? Well, I'm going to say it's got a thick neck like that other one did. Yeah, yeah. It's got that thick and neck and that slim body. Um, I think the snouts are fit, uh, similar other than the fact that this one's hair has obviously is obviously fresh, whereas the taxidermy one, I think, it, it could have been damaged by who knows the sun yeah. or who knows who knows okay in front of the snout looks like it's blacked out that's because of the shadow behind it i do believe that's the shadow behind it yep that's what it looks like to me because you can see it down around its neck yeah let me let me see if uh it did it on the ones before so yes yeah, you still got the same shadow behind it all from that tra yeah. trail cam the guy had so yeah and at the angle, with the angle, it did it. Yeah, and see, you could even see it now. More yeah, because you're not you're not going to see it at the feet because there's not any. It's it's too close no. to the ground. You're not going to get that kind of shadow. <clears throat> but as the background is further back, as you go up the to the top of it, it will show more of a shadow. That's why if you step on the ground and you got the sun shining behind your back, that your back, your mm -hmm. your shadow will be right underneath your feet. Okay, so like, like you're saying, though, as you get taller, the, the farther yeah, it goes, farther it goes. Yeah. And so he's saying like this one shows the full shadow going all the way through. And what yeah. he's saying was this one, he says it doesn't show anything there, but I think it does kind of right here. Yeah, it does. It does. A little bit of shadowing yeah. As well. And it so. does down to the legs, but not at the feet. And that that makes yeah. sense. That's a that's a proper picture. Yeah, I would think so. Yeah. I don't think that these ones have been altered. No, no, I don't think so either. I think they're 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 legitimate uh, trail cams. Uh, I think they're legitimate. Now, the other question is, are they what they think they are? Are they the actual Japanese wolf we're talking about? Because I can see a lot of similarities, but I can see a lot of differences as well. But once again, right, only right, right. The taxidermy. But then again, let's off. talk about this for a second. You're talking about a hundred yeah. years. Yes. So you know that they are going to grow, adapt. Um, they're going to change within a hundred years, of course. Definitely, definitely. You know, I, I want to call them mutations because that's what happens. Yeah, depends on yeah, if, I agree. if they have faulty genes or whatever. You just never know. It just different traits. Different traits evolve. Even in a hundred years, different traits will evolve. So. Yeah. Plus, 
you know, to make a case for, I mean, we were talking about it. Well, Gary before. just said, Gary just said a hundred years and only one sighting since. Yep. Gary, I've got a story for you. Yep. You, Be because I was <laughs> just telling, I was just telling Randy about it. I'm like, well, this could happen. This yes. could actually happen because um, in Indonesia, there was a, a, a specific species of monkey that they thought was so dangerously endangered that they thought it was extinct. They thought there was no more. They thought it, they, they basically said it was extinct, mm -hmm. but they put out trail cams that were, you know, observing other groups of monkeys and guess what? They seen one. It's called a, it's called a Miller's, Langer, and they had they had listed it as an extinct animal, but uh, surprisingly enough, they caught one right there, 2012 in Indonesia. There it is. They were completely rediscovered. Yep. Yep. So, do I think that this thing could have happened? Sure, they could have been. They could have been hunted. To almost extinction, you know, and then had well, just gone. Have. Yeah, they could have just gone into not hiding, but have uh, drove themselves away way far from civilization. Um, and you know, I, 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 I'm thinking that maybe these Millers were were the the same type of thing. Yeah, or you know, they they just. They adapted to the point where they moved, migrated to a certain spot where the scientists did not know they'd gone or didn't think they'd ever go to. Yeah, yeah. So now I didn't. Just, I didn't find out. I didn't find out why that these particular monkeys uh, were so endangered. I didn't. I didn't find out that. Yeah. Um, but I mean, think about all the stuff that's going on now. You've got the Reese monkeys, the capuchins, all yeah. this other kind of stuff <clears throat> that are becoming family pets yeah you know oh yeah so they're being poached cr like crazy yeah um i mean and there between that and you know you're talking about indonesia is where they found them let's think about the uh and i know this is going to disgust a lot of people there's a a um uh, how can i put it a delicacy as if anybody's ever watched the old faces of death show Oh yeah, yeah. With the monkey, you know what I'm and talking about. Where they true. were these parts of the world? I don't know which ones they used. Uh, you ain't gonna see me doing it ever, obviously, because number one, I, I ain't gonna do it to a live monkey. First of all, no, no, Secondly, no, that's it. It, ain't, it just ain't happening. I'm sorry, it just ain't happening. I'll eat cockroaches out in the field all day long, or scorpions that I've that I've literally burnt on a damn excuse my language, burnt on a danged fire, you know in the middle of nowhere because you know that's what we're taught us in survival training right i, I wouldn't i i that's wouldn't sitting at a table <laughs> torturing this this monkey so you can eat his brains i'm sorry but i don't they, i don't guess what they do it all over the place over there i know i it, it's just disgusting let's move on anyway <laughs> I'm just well, like, I, let's wait, move on are, are, you, are you feeling bad now uh, no, I just think it's disgusting. It's just. Oh, it, I'm with you. I, I'm 100 you know, with you on that. Um, but I mean, could could this wolf be out there? Oh yeah, absolutely. There's no doubt in my mind. Uh, Aggie, absolutely. Uh, Abigail, my daughter, she she actually said one of the, you know, you got mountain re mountainous re regions of Japan as well. But couldn't they have crossbred with domestic dogs somehow along the way as That's well? That's what I was saying. That's what I was saying, that, you know, the whole evolution of an animal over 100 years, depending on what ha what's happening and its survival. Um, yeah, it's I possible. Mean, yeah, it 100 percent possible. Uh, moon Moon says, you know, we've discovered a new species of whale in uh, whales, thousands of whales, a whole new species and a whole new population of gorillas found in, in the Congo. Well, yeah, we're they're finding, either even we're talking about stuff. they're still they're talking about that orcas may not be exactly what we think they are. 
because there are there are orcas that have they have they look the same until you really look at them and then their stripe their colors are different. Uh, I'm sorry, you know, they're still the black and white, but some of them have the you know the wide white belly and some don't. It's it's I haven't even figured all that out yet. So I'm like, mm. yeah, no, yeah. I mean, there's mm. there's a there's a couple of them. If I remember right, there was also a thing in Japan where they, they blue whales are endangered. So when whaling yep. ships kill some, they they're not allowed to kill blue whales at all. And if they are, they have to report it immediately, and it has to be done. Certain things have to be ha have to happen. Well, they the investigators against uh, that do it go over to Japan and they check the whale meat that's being sold in Japan, and they do genetic testing on it. By doing that, they found a crossbreed with blue whale and I believe it was humpback that they somehow had they've got a mixed crossbreed. That's happened out there somewhere. Wow. It's, that's strange. It, it's smaller than the normal blue whale, but it kind of looks like the blue whale from what I was. It, I only heard this, you know, on a documentary and I literally, I can't remember. It's been so long ago that I just cannot remember. So, but I right. distinctly remember them saying it was a, it was, they didn't say it was a mutation. They said it was almost like it was a crossbreed between the humpback and the blue whale. So, yeah. They couldn't well, get the they couldn't get the, the the whalers for killing the blue whale because they couldn't prove it was a blue whale. Right. Well, I mean, he, here we are with 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 this this wolf, you know. Yeah. Could it have bred with a dog and just mutated just a hair? Yeah. To give it, it, you know, just a little bit of a different look. But like I said, the the neck the neck looks thick. The head, yeah. it looks like it's smaller. I mean, it, yeah. it looks the, like it's the, me, but. I mean, the snout, the long snout is what gets me. Of course, this picture is better than the others. I mean, you can see the full length of the snout on this one. That's a wolf snout. Yeah, but it's that's, shorter. That's, yeah. But so it, it like, is definitely shaped like that. Yeah, it's got that more cone, conic, conic shape, if you want to call it that. So, yeah. Okay. Well, what Any does everybody think? Others? Does yeah. everybody think that they found something that should be extinct? I mean. Yeah, and like Moon says, all canines are of wolves or from wolves in some way. Exactly. Found. It's just what's, you so, know, what's bred into them and bred out. You don't exactly. know. Exactly. So. But this I mean, looks like very close to. Yeah. And it, like the stuffed ones. I mean, I'm, 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 I'm thinking. Say, yeah. I'm, I'm, I'm say, thinking yeah. that this is what they say it is. I think so too. I think uh, I think it's it's most likely, if it isn't an actual one from the 1900s, the same you know genome, whatever you want to call it, it's some sort of adaptation of it. Yeah. That, that so that. <laughs> That just tells me right away it, it's. I won't even say par, parsley tinfoil. Uh, it's literally, it, it's real. We just don't know for sure what real it is or how how. Yeah, I mean, they would have to do genetic classified. testing. They would have yeah. to do genetic testing to find out exactly what it is. Uh, exactly. But so. I'm thinking it is what it is. I mean, we just talked about a story about the 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 Miller Langer mm -hmm. that that it can happen yeah so and there's no telling what's out there that we haven't found yet so that's right okay so All we're right. gonna we're gonna chalk that one up that was uh that's a real one for me really it is right right okay and if he didn't get any like if he didn't if he couldn't find a body uh, you know of, of one of those or anything i mean we can't say that it didn't happen oh go yeah. ahead no, no, we're not doing that one yet. I got to try the different. I'm trying to get it to add a different thing to it. So, oh no. Uh, oh yeah, this is this is one you didn't like to look at because it was kind of small for you. But it's uh, we are going to bring this up here, and I'm going to show this to you guys. This video was taken outside of Abilene, Texas, and I believe it was about. Three to four years ago, the way I understood what I was reading. About three Abilene, or four years ago, Abilene, Texas. West of us. Yes. 
This is Abilene, Texas. Us. Right before you get into Open West Texas, this is the end of the the what we call the 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 Great Oaks or Live Oak area of Texas. This is the end mm -hmm. of it before you get out into the oil fields of West Texas. Right. Okay. Right. This is I'm gonna play it here so y'all can see this. As you can see, there's a large feline there. Maybe. You yeah, you can't see it too well, but everybody else should be able to see it okay. I'll back it up one more time because I can only play this a couple times before it starts throwing ads at me. As you, there's no doubt that's a cat going across there. Yeah, that's there's no doubt. That that tail and that that gait that it has, um, you can't deny that. Yeah, no, you can't. And then you know, now I'm gonna bring up the actual the stills that I took from this, this video. This is the first one. Now you can actually get in there and see that. Yeah. Kevin's right. It walks like a cat. I bet it, I bet it, well, I bet it don't meow like a cat. I bet it roars like a cat, a bigger cat anyway. But that right there, I'd bet money. And this comes from old folklore. Don't get me wrong. There's nothing proving anything. I had a grandfather out north of my town. He would tell, he told all of us about the Black Panthers that came through there about once a year. They migrated through. He would always talk about them. He'd seen them. Several people had seen them. I'm telling you right now, it's a cat. Is it a Black Panther or whatever you want to call the black, big black cats of uh, North America that nobody seems to think are real? Right. That thing's as black as you can get right there. Yeah. Uh, Maybe there's some sort of undercoat, you know, like with a with a uh, a black a black leopard. If you look at it, you can still see the spots of the leopard under the under the black. You know what I mean? If you're up close but, on them. Yeah, I don't want to get that close though. That's okay. But yeah, uh, but it, but just imagine that's what we're looking at, and from yeah. that distance, You'd you you wouldn't be able to tell on. that. No, no. But the size of it, the way the tail is, kind of makes me think of the way a mountain lion walks. If it was running, I'd say something else, but that looks kind of like the way a mountain lion would walk. Uh, right, right. Um, I'm gonna, I, it's definitely a cat, and it's a big one at that. You can tell by just the way it's walking. Yeah, yeah definitely. And then I think the next one has an even better view of it. It's kind of, I know it doesn't pick up, but that it's in mid step, you know? You can see that back leg kind of picked up. But the tail's dropped. Well, Poncho says that's a large house cat. Are you sure? Uh, that's how, the biggest house cat I've ever talking? seen in my life. Look I'm at talking. the distance. Look at the distance from the fence to the cat. I've seen now. I have seen what ones he's talked about before. I literally have seen one where a guy said this is a black panther, and when they went out and measured where the cat was at, because the guy took it from about fifty yards away. Yeah. But when you went out and measured where the cat was walking at, it wasn't more than a foot high. So it was definitely a house cat, and it didn't move like this one does. Right. See, back to this well, one. I mean, you see in mid, the cat, when a cat's tail, when they're walking a, a normal house cat, that tail isn't dropped like that. The tail's out most of the time. Unless right. they're trying to scoot along quick. Yeah. Well, the question is on this one, we know it's a cat. Yeah. But do you think it's big or do you think it's small? Exactly. I think it's big. Only because, like I said. I think it's big. Where we're going through there and where it's going into those bushes right there. Play the um, video again for us, would you please? Okay. Hey, you make it hard on me. You know that, right? Dude. 
<laughs> Your daughter says Bigfoot's house cat a cat going home. <laughs> hey now wait a second. Now she sat here watching mountain monsters with me a couple of times and there was a bunch of times that we were sitting there like they're going after the hellhounds of this or whatever and then they stopped and said guys bigfoot brought his dogs i know right it was funny I, i'm sorry i i don't get into a whole lot of the scripture ones but that one was funny so <laughs> all right so I'm going to bring this well, back up. I don't think I can. Moon at I'm noon gonna... says mountain lions, panthers, cougars, and 40 other names all refer to the same American species of cat. You are absolutely yeah. correct. Ex absolutely. Now, the Aggie, like Aggie said up there, she talked about, let me see if I can find it here. Yeah, she said something along the lines of, uh, damn, it went past. Hang on. Found jaguars, panthers, leopards in, in uh, Arizona, New Mexico. They were jaguars that had actually migrated up through Mexico at one point. And they were there, but they've actually receded back to those areas because of hunting and poaching and stuff. They actually were pushed back. They went or back to they? the south. That was the word that the U.S. government put out. Okay. You take that for whatever you believe. <laughs> right. But, but right. Uh, there's... Yeah, it, it yeah. They also on... said they also said cougars weren't in my area. Yeah, yeah. exactly. Until we they reintroduced better. they reintroduced elk in my area, and yep. uh, I'm telling they had a picture of a big cat taking down an elk. So yeah, I saw that one. That was actually on the on the internet about a week ago, wasn't it? No, huh? It's it's been some time now, but you can look back up. It's on the news and everything. Okay, so I just saw it because it's you know they're listening and they heard me looking for stuff like this and shit, hey looky here <laughs> right right so I mean okay I don't here's believe. a video I'm gonna pull us down real quick we're not down okay. but you know, we're gonna make this as big as we can for them and then as you watch it I'm sorry that's not a house cat bring it right back to the front again I want to see it walking across the open. Ah. I, I, I just, that is a big cat walk. Well, they call them felines for a reason. They walk the same, tall or small. Oh, my goodness. I don't know. It makes me doubt a little bit. But that's awfully big for as far away as it is. Yeah. I really don't have to be, be one big humongous house cat. I'm just saying. And I, I don't yeah. think it'd be a house cat. <clears throat> yeah. You know, anybody that's ever had a Maine Coon uh, knows what those are. Anybody that's ever had a Maine Coon knows how big those cats can get. I mean, they're almost they can. Some time. of them can get big. Uh, yeah, absolutely. Absolutely. But yeah. they're awfully firm. They're very specific. And that looks kind of like... Um, <clears throat> That's a big cat. I'm looking at it again. It's a big cat. It's a big cat. <laughs> it's a I'm big cat. On I'm going to say that. <laughs> hey, John. Yeah, I had to, um, I had, I, but, I'm sorry. I got to say the same thing. So that's, that's, it's just a big cat to me. It's a big cat. And, you know, where they're at, I would bet money. And now it's not no tiger, lion, you know, nothing like that. It's not that size. I, I believe think it's it probably, is. Probably cougar slash. Cougar, panther, puma, mountain lion, whatever you want to call it, that style, that the puma style of big cat. It's gonna be something like that. It you know, again, you know, as I'm pretty sure that genetics and all kinds of things can can yeah. alter the color, just like we have albinos out there. Yeah. Um I mean that could be a possibility, but yeah, it's a big cat. Yeah. That does not look like it. no, not to me. I, yeah, Poncho was like like his dad told him about the black cougars, the black panthers in uh in Marquand area, you know, in the forties and fifties, you know, and that's like like I said, my granddad told me the same thing. I grew up in the early seventies, you know, out north of here, and that they talked about it all the time. Anytime right. we went in the back forty, you better have your weapon on you. Have a gun right. on you in some way, shape, or form. So right. and, and the way it's nonchalantly going across that field. It does not care that that guy's taking a picture of him at all. 
So that worries me a little bit to the point that if it didn't scurry across here fast, it's kind of getting a little bit used to humans, which means it could be more problem than it's worth later. But then again, you got to think about this too. If you're an apex predator, what are you scared of? That's true too. But all apex predators are scared of man for the most part. For the most part. Yeah. He don't care. Except for this bad, except for hippos. This bad boy. Except for hippos yeah, well, and rhinos. They don't care. They'll squash yeah, them. You're talking about the up armored uh, unicorns? I love them. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> But he's he's not he's very nonchalant, and he could have just woke up. And you know, big cats or cats in general, well, they just wake up. They're gonna walk across. They could we do what we want. Ain't nothing you can do about right. it either. Right. <laughs> but anyway, John says it so, might be a released pet. Yes, and it could be. It could be an escape pet of some sort. Right. I mean, not not pet pet, but you know, like like everybody talking. Didn't they have? Um, didn't they have another one that just? Yeah, in North Carolina. Yeah, there that's was, what I said. I was going to say, were, they just had one not too long ago. And I couldn't yeah. remember where. Thanks for reminding me. I think it was, uh, I think it was North Carolina. I'm pretty sure it was North Carolina where uh, they lost some uh, uh, tigers. And I think there was one lion. Like two or three tigers and one lion that I, that I heard about. Right. Now, did they get them back? I haven't heard. I haven't heard well, if they found them or got them back or in or not. But anyway, go. they got out. That's your worry right there. You got out. <laughs> well, let's just talk about Carol Baskins and that whole fiasco. No, 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 no. We're not, we not going to talk about that. We're not going to talk about that because they still haven't found them. So Carol Baskins. Gang, gang. Oh, my God. I can't believe I wasted three weeks of my life watching that show. Anyway. Well, it's what, it's what, after, what's, what happened after the show is what was fascinating. That That's true. That is true. Yeah. So if anybody didn't know after the show, well, they eventually ended up losing all of those big cats that they had. So they went to someone else. And then when they went to someone else, eventually they ended up losing them. So when the government came in to take all those big cats from that person, mm -hmm. they weren't all accounted for. Okay. I got Somewhere one more thing. here. Of the, okay. Uh, now the, that one, I don't know much about this particular picture because I couldn't find anything on it other than it's just out there. This one right here, once again, we're talking about a big black cat. Oh, no, no, no. That looks bigger now, than the last one. The re that, And I thought the same thing because you can see what I thought might be something along the line of a fence post back here. Well, no, I'm looking at the tree in front of it. Yeah, but I don't know how big that tree is. That's my biggest issue. But this cat is not walking. This cat is prowling. It's stalking. It's going it's after stalking. something. It's got something in its sights back there. And that looks like a, a cougar. It looks like yeah, an look at the Yeah, look at the tail playing. on that. Look at how long that yeah. tail is. Yeah, that looks like a mountain lion to me. Hmm. Now, that one, like I said, I got no information on it. have no earthly idea. Could easily, don't get me wrong, this one right here could easily, depending on the size of this tree, which we don't have any kind of real uh, gauge on, it could easily be a house cat. Easily. But that would have to be an awful small tree. It'd be a bush. It's, it's more of a bush. Yeah, I mean, I, I I guess you're right there. I mean, there's a lot of factors in this. We're talking about even towards the the depth of the grass yeah. there, because yeah. you of of where the paws disappear. Um, mm -hmm. Could it be tall grass, or is that just a house cat? You know, in regular cut grass. I mean, yeah. I, there is that. It could be an optical illusion. But if he's if he's stalking, he's going to be down low anyway. Yeah, but he, he's already he, he, down. Yeah, I, mean, I understand that, but my cat does that too. Yeah, that's the only reason so, I would say I can't say one way or the other on it. Now, first look, you can bet your butt. Yeah, I'm thinking that's a, that's a black panther. 
it's plain and simple. That's a Black Panther. There's no ifs, ands, or buts. That's exactly what it is. Uh, but if we're to, if we're determining the background, yeah, that's where I can't I can't say because I can't determine the no. background. I can't either. That's uh, like Roger. Roger's leaning toward a house cat, you know, and I'm like. Well, you know, know what I'm saying is that it's possible because I mean somebody could have mowed their yard and this is yeah. what they got in the backyard. They they, they mowed and, it, and the cat's out there. Yeah. Take the picture of the black cat going across the back of your property and you zoom in really close and he's up next to a tree or next to a bush that's only about four foot high. Yeah. But it looks like it's a lot bigger. Yeah. I'm I I'm up in the air on it. Yeah, I'm on the fence on that one. I it's it's hard to no, tell. Yeah, and I have no um no information I, on this one at all. I know it's out there. I'll probably look at it later on and I'll find it and go I don't know. Right. Right. I don't Moon know. believe it's a big one. Malou, yeah, Malou well, it's I, a big one. If we take the I, picture as it was meant, if we yeah. take and we're looking at the picture as it was meant to be seen, mm -hmm big cat it's a big cat but if you start breaking it down and thinking about well that could be a bush or that could be freshly mowed grass and it's just an optical illusion it's well, possible she does bring up a good a good uh she does bring up a good point there if it's a house cat wouldn't blades of grass be visible or de more defined around the paws not if yeah well it's possible if it's I don't it's know. hard to say. I mean, because they're all blurred. It's all pixelated going out there. So, right. So, if it's, it, it's you know, pixelated. like I said, if it's mowed grass or it's not mowed grass, you know, yeah. you got to think about that for a second. So, we're still in the same, yeah. We're yeah, still in the same spot. Got, yeah. A lot of people are saying big cat because you look, he, Brandon Coe says the same thing. Proportions look kind of weird for a house cat, too. Yes, you're right. You are right. Because it looks awfully long, long. I mean, it's just long. Yeah. And that that yeah, uh, I'm gonna oh. get that video back up for you here in just a minute too. Yeah, I it, I'm up in the air. I I don't know. I can't. Like I said, uh -uh. we don't have enough with this picture to go on. Like if if you had the picture in its entirety, because I don't think it is. No, uh, I would like to. If this situation right this like this, there should have been at least one or two more pictures, or it should be part of a video. Yeah, because I could take a picture of my wiener dog and make him look like he's 10 foot tall and, and 90 feet long. You know what I mean? Oh, yeah. without, it just all depends on which way I'm taking a picture of him. Yep. So, <sighs> I, I'm, yeah, I, I still lean big cat. I, I'm with you. I, I think I'm going to say that too. I'm, I'm just going to say that. I think I'm, the tree's I'm, good size. And I think, I think that's that rubble behind it, that, that dead fall back there. I, I say kind of big. I'm I'm kind of with you, and, and according to Kevin, the grass would be at least six inches for it to be that high up on its legs. So, and it very well could be six inches for all we know. Yeah, for all we know, exactly. It. But it looks like a big cat. It really looks like a. It looks like a. It does. It does. So, so it does look about, right. like just just the way that it's it's like stalking something there. Just the way yeah. it looks to me, even though my cat does it. Yeah. Um, when she attacks me, but, um, just that, that look that it has, I would go with that just by what we have and what we're looking at. I would say that's a big cat. Yeah. Uh, I'm with you on that one. I, I think I'll run with that one. So okay. that somebody may prove it lo more later. Who knows? But right uh, for right. moon, she wanted to get that video back up. She wanted to. Oh, absolutely. Since Tex is not so, coming on tonight. <laughs> yeah, we got it. Yeah. We, got we don't time. care more. We don't care. We don't anymore. care. No. <laughs> All right. All right. We're gonna bring this bad boy back up, and I'll make it full screen on us here. All right. Here's the video outside of Abilene, Texas, again. Yeah, to me, the only thing that's relevant is when it's out in the open. Yeah, that's why I don't let it keep going, because, I mean, you see, the further I go here. Yeah, it's just gone. Anything. 
Oh, there it is. Over to the right. Look to the right. Upper right. See it? I'll bring it back again. All right. So see it going in front of the tree there? I know it's hard for you to see it, so. But if you look at it in front of the tree, it goes in front, and then off to the right there. I'm watching the replay. Um... And he doesn't, he doesn't, so you see it keeps on going. Oh, no, that's big. Look yeah, at it. You see the house back there now, right? The barn or whatever that yes. is back there. I'm going to come back and we'll go through the whole thing to the 15-second mark again. Okay. Once you once it gets to the other side, you can really tell. Yeah, and I didn't go that far before. Oh, yeah, no. Now you can see that I don't know for sure what that is that's behind it up in here. Looks like a, a building or old barn or something of that's, some sort. That's kind of what I was thinking too. So, once it gets past it, you can see right here is where it's at. Right. At this point. And it just keeps on going. goes through the shadow right there. And it emerges back out over here. Yeah. Almost. Uh, uh, sorry. That's a big cat. No, that's big. That's a big cat. Ain't nothing yeah. about that. That's a big cat. Uh, and I don't know if you could even call that a mountain lion. If that's a mountain lion, that's a big mountain lion, actually. Yeah. So. Yeah, that's what that's now, what I want to say. I want to say. Now, that John, is a John brings up another point. I mean, we've got this this barbed wire at the top of this uh, fence here. Mm hmm. It's leaning out, so it's wanting to keep stuff from coming in this way. So I would assume that what's outside of there, this is a retaining wall down here. We've got the six foot fence right here with the, it, it's got to be three, three and a half foot tall, minimum, maybe four is what I'm thinking. Just looking at it right there. That's assuming that that's a full six, six foot fence. Yeah. Which, assuming which part of it which part of it obviously is once I get back where it was here part of it is in front of the retaining wall so yeah I would say at that distance three to four foot tall yeah <clears throat> um Pancho Zort said something like a game farm because of the fencing. Um, That's kind of what I was talking that, about with the, uh, was it Glenn or was it, uh, who else said it? Somebody else said it. John, well, I don't, John said something I, about I that. don't know, but the building that we were looking at at the backside looks dilapidated. So Here. yeah, I don't think like they would have that stuff in the, in a, it, I, yeah, I don't think they would have it in there at all. Exotic if it was ranch, a game farm. No, if it was a game farm, they wouldn't have any buildings in there whatsoever. Yeah, I wouldn't they think shouldn't. so either. Other than yeah, some shouldn't. sort of a shelter of some sort, but it would be more of a uh, natural habitat for it. Yeah. Versus a, that, so. Personal opinion. Yeah. So. Yeah. We're talking an awful lot about these big cats today for some reason. We got hooked on this one, I guess. But I'm with you. That's a big cat. Well, it's fascinating. You know, it is fascinating. Yeah, I agree. Um, I mean, that these things are running out there among us. You know, we don't, uh, it's not something we see every day. But again, I always say I want to sleep in my car. Will we go out camping? And now we know why. And Brandon, it's not the the that we don't have big cats in the area. We don't have black big cats. Right. We've got right. mountain lions throughout the area, but we don't have black anything. There might right. be. Uh, yeah, come to think of it, they haven't found. They found black bobcats, but they've not been in our area. They've been further north. So, right. 
and this is Abilene, Texas, you know, so it's out in the central Texas right before you start hitting, like I said, the, the, the West Texas oil fields and such before, you, you know, you're a hundred miles from Odessa. So it's, it's very tough to say, but there's well, no doubt. You know, that another thing that camp. we didn't, another thing we didn't take into consideration is this may be a sanctuary. It, it could be, but once again, we're talking about, that's a, uh, who was it on a Glenn, a badly run game for him, if that's the case. Well, like I said, but I mean, we we could be talking a sanctuary. These sanctuaries are, are not no, usually right. personally funded. Yeah. They are, you know, donation funded, and I mean, or they sell the young to to fund the operation like they did before. So we won't talk about that either. I might get myself in trouble. Either. But I mean, I mean, <laughs> but here we are. I mean, it's not small. I'm going to tell you that. To me, that does not look like a small cat at all. Nope. Now, if it's being held or just walking across there, I don't know. Yeah, we can't we can't tell one way or the other on that. All we know is it's out of the ordinary. And yeah. You would think a black black any kind of feline that size in the state of Texas would be registered and somebody would know it would be <laughs> in that area. So mm. Well, Pancho says that in he's they've had shelters and tent structures and game farms, not to ones that I've been to, Pancho, but I'm not saying that that's not happened. Yeah. Um yeah. It, usually game farms usually try to keep them uh, strictly to their own habitat. They don't make tin or wooden structures like houses no. for them. They try to keep them all natural, but I mean, that's not saying that they do or they don't. I'm not, you know, I've not been that to that one. It could be very well could be because, you know, not everybody does everything the same. So, um, no, not at all. Right. Well, right. So, We've had two really good truths there. So I haven't even pulled up anything else because we've got into this one so much. I know. But I'm, I'm going to pull up one that I thought it was a black cat from the get-go, from the first part of it. But it's actually what they say is a thylacine. Thylacine. Now. Say that five times fast. Thylacine, thylacine, th 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 <laughs> it's a thylacine. Now, I cannot tell you what a thylacine really is honestly because i've never gotten into them there we go i'm gonna bring it up so i can look at it. that's what i got uh, yeah okay it's a tasmanian tiger that's kind of what i thought it was supposed to be in the first place okay tasmanian tiger is supposed to be an extinct however many years ago long time ago okay well supposedly these are pictures of the thylacine and i'm sitting there looking at it i was like um where is it I'm guessing right here. But it's <laughs> you don't it, even it, it, know? No, because I never could figure it out either. I'm looking at him like, what, what is it supposed Are to be? Are we playing Where's like Waldo? A, well, the head's gone. The head's already behind the rock when the picture's taken. This is the tail. Okay? And this is the body. What? It looks like a black cat, if anything, to me. But it, it, uh, it could be any one of a hundred things. Yeah, that's not even a great picture. No, it's not. But that's what was out there—the first one. So that I'll tell you something. I went with that. Now the word. The and I don't want to tell you what that really looks like to me. Oh, it looks like a stump. That's what it looks like to me. No, it kind of looks like something taking a poo. Yeah, that too. Like a. <laughs> that's what I'm it looks thinking. like to me. I am well, so sorry. Because of how small it is. Because of how small yeah. it is, I can't. I'm looking at it going. <sighs> Yeah, he's taking a dump, whatever it is. Excuse my language. If you don't like dump, I'm not going to say long anything else. But yeah, I, it looks like a dog taking a you know what, you know? Yes, it does. Poncho says so, armadillo. Yeah, uh, it's a little bit bigger Brandon than armadillo. Brandon says think, a long tailed but... dog. Yep, and Cool Hand is right. Thylacine has stripes. That's why they call it the Tasmanian tiger. I think that I think that picture. I'm just gonna say that picture is tinfoil. I'm gonna, go I'm with gonna you on say that. it right we now. We had to have one. We had to have one. We had to have one. Ah, I don't stay know on what there. It is, but I know what it ain't. That thing is tinfoil because the, to me that looks like a dog taking a poop. The, I mean, and also, does that look like Papua New Guinea? No. 
Okay, I, I wouldn't have thought so either. I mean, does that mean that's all, all the place they're at? But uh, I, I can't. That's how can you put that out there as being a thylacine? It's even on. If you look up uh, best, uh, I'll say go to Reddit. Go to Reddit. Look up best evidence. This is one of the things that comes up. Right. Best. Right. Best cryptic well, yeah, evidence that comes yeah, up. I, I just have to say that because I have a dog that does that. The tail the points tail straight out. Straight out. A pointer. Straight out. A, a German short hair pointer will do the exact same thing. Brandon says it could be a long tailed brindle dog. I am leaning uh, with that. Yeah, I'm thinking dog right off the bat. Yeah, I'm thinking dog. Okay. Oh, I, that don't even. That's not even the the best one. Honestly, that's not even the best. Uh, okay. The next one <laughs> is even worse because of how badly it's done. I'm not even taking my hat off. Okay. I'm not no. I'm not taking it off. What is that? I cannot tell you. It's supposed to be a thylacine. Now, judging from the, the, the crosshairs and the framing of the, the picture, it was taken with film from the best I can tell. Probably can you zoom in on that? I, that? I can zoom in all over the place. You can't tell nothing, though. It looks like this should be a tail, but I don't think it is. I think the tail is tucked over here somewhere. You can't tell it's the stripes. You can't tell if there's any stripes there. You can't tell... And if I was a Tasmanian tiger, I sure as heck, I'd, I'd almost guarantee they wouldn't walk hunched like that. No. No. <laughs> Donnie, it's not a dog man, okay? We're not going to go into that right now. To everything, everything is a dog man to Donnie. Everything. Well, because he's, he's part of the church of dog man. You know that. Aardvark. <laughs> yeah, I mean, and... I would say it's probably some sort of canine, but I'm leaning, honestly, that, the way it's walking right there, that kind of kind of makes you think hyena almost. With the head down, kind of hunching in the back when it's, got, when it's on the prowl. Yeah, but you know what? I don't, I, I'm. It's not a thylacine. I'll tell you that right I'm now. calling BS. Yeah, that's definitely not a thy thylacine. Yeah, that is definitely a tinfoil moment, everybody. Yep. Back so, chupacabra. chupacabra. <laughs> Lord have mercy. This was not taken. This was supposedly taken in New in uh, New Zealand, if I'm not mistaken. That's. I, I've never been to New Zealand, but I don't know. If, once again, it's all tinted because I, I think it's taken with night vision. I really do. So I uh, mm, I don't pull know. back. It's I mean, so you pixelated. Can see a little you bit. can't tell what it is. Yeah, it's not a thylacine. I, even if no, this, if it was a if it was a thylacine, if it was the actual Tasmanian tiger, you should still be able to see some striping there. I don't see it. No, no. So. Yeah, John I mean, says it looks like it has the means. And that's possible too. Oh yeah. And like Glenn said, you know, and even the even the photograph farmers in Tasmania say that I and I fully believe it because there was there was one about I want to say it was ten or twelve years ago that actually caught photos on his game cam trying to what figure out what was getting his his uh chickens and such. I believe right. it was in Tasmania. It was either Tasmania or I believe it was Tasmania now that I think about it. And I'm going to tell you right now, there was no doubt that thing was a thylacine. But because they haven't been able to reproduce it or find it, they're saying uh, it's just a bad picture. So. Hmm. I don't know. See. Uh, yeah. And, yeah, I don't. I don't know. That's the thing. That's that's the biggest problem is I don't know. 
and I'm looking at it like I should know better than this stuff because that really should it, be. It, it could be a lot of things, but it's not that. No, it's definitely not that because uh, let me see if I can bring this up here real quick. Actually, I'm going to bring up the real picture of a real thylacine. If I can get it. Open image. There we go. No, get that off there. Sorry, guys. I mean, I'm it, trying to. I, I hope everybody's wearing their, their foil hats at home because. Uh, I mean, especially with the, with the eclipse coming up, everybody, make sure you're wearing your tinfoil hats. Now, see, that's the last, uh, that's the last pictures of the thylacines that were in, were in uh, captivity. Okay. Now you can see why they would say Tasmanian tiger. Now. That I other one is too unclear to tell. Yeah, but that right there, th this is a legit picture, though. This is a legit. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Uh, this, you can see the tail, though. I can kind of understand where they might have leaned the way that they were leaning. Because, because of the tail. Dog dog, and tail on that first one could lean that way. But that's too dark. I, I believe it to be too dark. I didn't see any striping. Somebody said they saw uh, a striping on there, but I'm, I'm not for sure that I saw that. So, um, Doesn't mean you're wrong. No, it doesn't. doesn't mean, it means we, we can't tell enough from that picture. That's what it means. Right. But neither one of those pictures. You see how this 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 animal is standing. I, yep. I would not think it would be walking hunched over like that second picture was. Mm. So. Yeah. No. I I I would say that uh, that that's not a picture of that. I, they, it's mis uh, it's mistaken for something else. Yeah. Yeah, exactly. I think, or somebody took the picture and said, "I bet I get p these crazy people on the internet to buy this crap." Yeah, you know. And I wish people wouldn't do that. You know, wouldn't it be nice to go look for a picture of something, and it actually be the real deal? You know. Well, yeah. Instead uh, of having right. to do this, you know, is this a real picture? And you're having to tear it apart to figure out if this stuff is real. I yeah. hate that. Like what we said with Tex, you said it last week. Tex admitted to it last week, even though he said he could get. I can go out and find the, the pictures. Okay, there's a lot going into trying to find something that is might be even legitimate. Right, right, for right, ever. absolutely. Yeah, I spent two to three days just sitting here in the afternoon. Come on, come home from work, just trying to find something that might be kind of interesting. Because, right. well, this was a nice change. You know? Yeah, and and while I like the the subject of the Black Panthers and stuff, even the thylacines, because thylacines were even part of uh, the original in search of, you know, with Leonard Nimoy, they talk about right. Tasmanian tigers. Mm -hmm. So the ones that you got to go through to get to this, though, it's just like I know <laughs> it's like you got you you got to you got to go through a hundred pictures to get to something that you're like, okay, I'll look at this one. And then you got to go through five hundred to say, okay, this one I I I don't know, I don't know if this yep. is real or not. I can't say either way. I know, I know. Yeah, uh, that's the ones I try to find. The ones that are very borderline. If I can find them, we can discuss them. But I right. like to see one, one, just one that's clear. Right. Well, Randy, uh, we're at an hour and fifteen minutes right now. Um, Tell me, get the hell off. I am. I'm trying to say. You tired? Are you well, tired? Well, I, 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 I've got to go to work early. I mean, I, I know oh we have God. free time tonight, so we did take advantage of that. But I, I just want to tell care. everybody out there, uh, when looking through pictures and photos and and things that you're you think are evidence, but when you're in doubt, throw it out. So yeah, keep that in hey, mind. If you have any doubts? My emails at the end of the uh, the extra here. If you have any doubts, send me the picture. I will take a look at it. And if yep. we think we can do something with it, we will do something with it. We'll break it and down we'll if you want us to. You. I mean, we'll credit you. You send it to us, by God, we'll credit you. <laughs> I know, because we got everybody out there to look at it too. I mean, we can take look. Yep. We can take a look at your pictures too. That's not a problem. Just send them to Randy, and then we'll get them on the show. Hey, that'll be fun. 
Yeah. We, if we get enough, we might actually do a whole show of nothing but viewer submitted pictures. Please that don't would be send cool. Bad pictures. Please don't send bad pictures. I don't want to see any of that. <laughs> send us the ones you don't know. Yeah. I love those. All right, guys. I appreciate y'all being there. And thank you, Miss Brandy, once again. Thanks. It was fun. And happy Easter to everybody. And uh, we'll see everybody next week at 5 o'clock Central Sunday evening. Yep. Bye, everybody. I'll try, I'll try to put some shorts out, too, so people can know what's coming. Right. Bye, everybody. <laughs>